Hey everyone, Happy New Year, and welcome to Minecraft Tornado Survival Remastered, Season 2, Episode 2. And I... And it was determined that what happened to me in the last episode of Season 1 was not fair, and it was a glitch. There's nothing I can do about it at this point, because the Season 1 world is gone. But the only thing we can do at this point is continue with Season 2, and if something like that happens again, then I will get my stuff back and continue the season like nothing happened. So that's what I'm going to do if something like that happens again because it was a glitch. I was kind of... At first I kind of thought that maybe what happened was that the tornado, like, just weakened and its wind field hadn't decreased yet, but it was clear that the tornado was pretty far from where I was, and it should not have been close enough to pick me up, even if it did have a bigger wind field, which F3s have. So, yeah, what happened was not fair. And at this point, we've already started Season 2, so there's nothing that can be done. Um, for the unfairness of what happened in Season 1. But, again, if it happens again, Season will continue. But if it's clear that the tornado picked me up, and I'm close enough to hear the tornado, and that happens, then the season will be over. Because you should you should be able to hear the tornado like when it picks you up, and I didn't really hear the tornado. So yeah, that's that. I also want to talk, I know I talked about my uploading schedule before, but I'm going to talk about it a little more in this episode, because my uploading schedule is about to change, because my time off is starting to come to a close. Oh, I saw lightning. I didn't hear thunder for some reason. I did not hear thunder, but I did see lightning. Um, yeah, there's a weakening thunderstorm. I'm gonna dye the bed yellow. I wonder if I'm too far from the storm to hear thunder. Usually I do hear thunder, though. Okay, we really need to get some water. I am going to start building a house soon, but it's way more important that we get water because I am on the verge of thirsting to death. The thirst in this mod doesn't kill you, but it brings you down to... Oh, there's the thunder. It brings you down to like half a heart. So, yeah, which is not fun. That's very annoying, because if I get one hit by something else, then I will die. So, thirst can't directly kill you, but it can get you really close to dying, and then something else can finish you off. So, yeah. Bottom line is, it's much better to keep your thirst up. Which I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get my thirst. And then I'm 
going to have six melted water bottles ready in case I need them. Okay, so while this is going and I'm replacing water bottles in here, I will tell you what my uploading schedule is going to look like. So, I have one more week off. See, I'm on my last week off right now. So, for the rest of this week, I will probably upload every day or close to every day. There might be one or two busy days this week. So I might skip like one day, one or two days this week, but I'm going to try to upload every day if possible. And then after Saturday, so on Sunday the 7th is when I go back to college. So there is going to be no video on Sunday the 7th. And at that time, I will go back to my weekly uploads. So instead of seeing a video every day, you're going to start seeing a, you're going to start seeing one video every week. And I did find a location on campus where I can be alone and record. So yeah now it's just a matter of being able to find the time so i think i could probably even with college i think i could probably keep up with a once a week upload schedule but i probably can't do much more than that so yeah but i think once a week i can take 20 to 30 minutes to try to get a video out for you guys. So the video that's uploaded on the 6th will be the last daily upload. And then after that, you're not going to see another video until the 13th or 14th. The weekly uploads will either come on Saturdays or Sundays, and they're not going to be pre-scheduled. I'm going to try to, like, actually record them. Um, not live, but I'm going to try to record them, like, on the same day that they're uploaded and see how that goes. And if it seems like I don't have enough time to do that, I may go back to scheduled recordings. But I'll let you guys know what happens. And I will tell you right now, there are going to be some weeks where I don't upload. That's a given. So, yeah. Don't be surprised if there are some weeks here and there where you don't see a video. That is the expectation. So yeah. That's how it's going to go. Um, okay, so while we're doing this, I want to... While we're doing this, I want to smelt some food. I think we are getting some storm development. I was trying to make a place to put the radar. I think I'll just put it right here. Let's see. I know there's something. Oh. Oh, okay. 
well, we have a tornado. Should we leave? Okay, it just suddenly died, I think. I do not see it anymore. Oh, I know what's happening. Wait a minute, I see... Okay, this is weird. Okay, we need to go. Oh no. We need to, we need to go. We need to run. We need to run away. Okay, the tornado's not showing up on the radar, but it's still there. Like, I thought it died, but it didn't die. It's still... It's still there. We, we need to run away. The forecast has failed us. You know what? That makes this all the more terrifying. That makes this all the more terrifying. Okay, I cannot see anything. How do I get into here? Hold on. I need to turn up my brightness. Okay, if you don't mind, I'm sleeping in here tonight. I thought... Because the tornado wasn't showing up on the forecast anymore, so I thought it just died. I think that's another glitch with this mod, is sometimes tornadoes will still be alive, and they won't show on the radar. Because it's not showing on the radar. It's not, sh it's not showing... But you guys clearly saw that the tornado was on the ground. Like, it was clearly still there. Let's see. I think it's gone now. I think it actually died. I think it... Is it still there? You guys clearly saw that the tornado was there. I think it takes a little bit for um, the radar to red, or not the radar. I think when the radar, like, is the tornado still there? Yeah, I think this is actually a glitch. I think this is another glitch. Because I don't see anything... ...rotating on the radar. Yeah, there's like nothing. But I see... I thought I saw rotation over there. Yeah, that was definitely, like, some type of glitch. Which is going to make this series much scarier, because now we just found out that we can't fully rely on the forecast to tell us where these tornadoes are. Because sometimes the forecast will fail us. Like it did in this episode. Like we had to run to the village. Because, I mean, you could rewind the footage. That tornado was clearly on the ground. Even when the radar said that there was no tornado. Like it was clearly on the ground. So 
so yeah, that's terrifying. <laughs> we can't rely on the radar fully. This should be enough food for now. I can smelt the rest later. To make this go quicker, I could probably make a shovel. I've just been lazy to make one, but... I have the resources. I even have the sticks to make it. I just need to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I want it, I want the house to be one more. So I'll have to make these. And I can replant the flower like we plant them somewhere else. There. Because last episode was pretty long, I think I'm going to end this one like right here. Um but yeah, some bizarre things happened this episode as you saw. Like, that tornado survived a pretty long time after it disappeared on the radar. Or maybe it, it probably is a glitch, but I have a theory that maybe there's a delay between, like, when the radar says that a storm is dead and when the storm actually dies. Like, maybe there's some natural delay in that. So that could be the case. Because after like a minute or two, that tornado did disappear. Like, it's gone now. So maybe there's some natural delay in that. And maybe, I don't know, maybe that was, maybe that's a part of the mod, like, to add a little more of a challenge. Because this mod seems to be adding more of a challenge in general. But even if it is a glitch, that'll still... That'll still add more of a challenge to this series, because that'll mean that we can't fully rely on the radar. And that we're going to have to be cautious. Because tornadoes can... Tornadoes can strike even when the radar says there are no tornadoes. But anyways, I will leave you guys here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Again, Happy New Year and goodbye for now.